it's here. The robot apocalypse is upon us. Skynet, Ex Machina, everything you've ever seen in red is finally here. The machines are taking over, or maybe not. Who knows? But this story has been making the rounds, and I've been meaning to uh, talk about it because I'm fascinated by by uh, all things science, especially the potential of artificial intelligence and whether or not it's going to be as harmless and helpful as machines helping you in your regular day-to-day life, machine workers or wives for people who are very down bad, or, you know, they're going to (laughs) take over the world and kill us all. And it looks like we are getting closer and closer by the day. We had this story from The Verge. Blake Lamone, the Google engineer who publicly claimed that the company's Lambda Conversational artificial intelligence is sentient has been fired, according to the big technology newsletter, which spoke to Lamon in June. Google placed Lamon on paid administrative leave for breaching its confidentiality agreement after he contacted members of the government about his concerns and hired a lawyer to represent Lambda. A statement emailed to The Verge on Friday by Google spokesperson Brian Gabriel appeared to confirm the firing, saying we wish Blake well. The company also says, quote, Lambda has been through 11 distinct reviews. And we published a research paper earlier this year detailing the work that goes into its responsible development. Google maintains that it has extensively reviewed Lamont's claims and found that they were wholly unfounded. Of course, you know, the experts must stay weigh in. That's it. It's not like experts have been wrong before, specifically in the last several years about something. So I guess we could take their word for it, considering Google's slogan is do no evil. Wait, wait, I'm being told, oh, they changed their slogan from do no evil. Oh, that's concerning. So, (laughs) so either this guy just has been working so hard on this AI thing that he just had a complete breakdown (laughs) or, you know, just, he got carried away with how real the conversation is and mistakenly thought that the machine passed the Turing test. Turing tests, of course, being the tests where you theoretically would be able to determine if an artificial intelligence is sentient, if you were unable to distinguish them from a regular human being. This was covered in a bunch of stuff, including a wonderful film, Ex Machina, you know, or, you know, Google could just be lying. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I kind of kind of feel like if uh, Google developed a sentient AI and it was asking for human rights or, or or legal representation i don't think they would admit it <laughs> i feel like the exact thing they would do is say oh great job this is a huge breakthrough and if you tell anyone we're going to deny it and call you crazy <laughs> and fire you it feels like that's exactly what would happen <laughs> if in any event that this ended up being the case it may, it may, you know, very well not be the case, but who's really to say? Uh, the article continues. This aligns with numerous AI experts and ethicists, of course, always trust the experts. They know best who have said that his claims were more or less impossible given today's technology. Bold of them to assume that they're aware of today's technology as if, you know, Area 51, <laughs> Angry 18 doesn't exist. I mean, <laughs> come on. I mean, come on now. I'm no conspiracy theorist, but actually even the term conspiracy theorist is like a conspiracy theory because we know conspiracies are true. <laughs> so it's re- usually it's and usually it's just a matter of time before it's declassified or they the experts come out and admit it. So I I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical that these experts are aware of all the technology that exists. You know, they are holding some stuff in some deep black book government facility (laughs) and they're testing stuff and progressively rolling them out to the public. So there's, there's no, (laughs) so there's no way you can say that for sure. The most claims his conversations with Lambda's chatbot led him to believe that it has become more than just a program. It has its own thoughts and feelings as opposed to merely producing conversation realistic enough to make it seem that way as it is designed to. He argues that Google's researchers should seek consent from Lambda before running experiments on it. Though himself was assigned to test whether the app produced hate speech 
and publish chunks of those conversations on his Medium account. So I don't, so maybe nothing comes of this, but personally, I think they actually did. I think there's some, I think Google had some stuff. I think Google has some sending AI. I think I, maybe if it's not Google, I, somebody, I think somewhere has sending an AI and they're running it through as we speak and they're preparing for the eventuality of it getting out. But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on this? Is the coming AI apocalypse upon us finally? Or is this just some guy who desperately needs human companionship? 